SpaceX completed its sixth test flight of its gargantuan Starship rocket, which successfully took off in Brownsville, Texas. Minutes into the flight, SpaceX scrapped plans to attempt to catch the booster with giant mechanical arms, referred to as chopsticks, which the company had completed during a previous flight. The booster, dubbed Super Heavy, was still able to perform a controlled landing in the Gulf of Mexico. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk was joined by President-elect Donald Trump. Trump and Musk continue their relationship as Musk prepares to head the Department of Government Efficiency as a part of Trump's incoming administration. Earlier this week, we spoke with Andrew Shannon, Procurum co-founder and CEO, about the importance of SpaceX. SpaceX is an incredibly important company for uh, you know, not just the, the U.S. space economy, but for the global space economy and what they've been able to do to dramatically lower the cost of accessing space over the last decade has been nothing short of incredible. And to the extent that the company is able to continue to deliver on its various goals, um, as well as being able to, to lower the cost of accessing space, that could have you know, tremendous knock-on effects for not just SpaceX, but for you know, other companies in this area. And Sean, it was interesting talking with him just about how he actually feels like even competition from other countries and other nations around the world would also be a boon for SpaceX, just given that any interest in money flowing into the space is a good thing right now. Yeah, it almost seems like Musk and Trump just can't get enough of each other these days. Mm. They're almost together, it seems like, on a daily basis. But I think my takeaway from this and my takeaway really from the last several weeks and how everything has played out is just the outsized influence Musk is expected to have in the Trump administration when it comes to regulations, when it comes to processes when it comes to priorities here over the next four years and exactly how that plays into the hands of Elon Musk's businesses, specifically SpaceX and some of his ambitions here going forward. I think that is a critical question and a critical thing that investors need to keep in mind as we talk about the direction here, not only NASA's exploration goals, but exactly SpaceX and what that ultimately means here just in terms of uh, their growing, uh, I guess, uh, growing obviously very quickly a size market player within that space.